Jackie here from So Bright Creations. I've had so many questions about Emma's desk. It was a DIY and a weekend project. I don't mind the baby. I didn't have any measurements ahead of time. I just kind of used what I had and made it on the go. But lucky for you, I've tried to put it all together. So you can check out the blog at SoBrightCreations.com and it has all the measurements, details, supplies, what you need to buy. And then you can watch this little video to kind of see how I put it all together. What you're gonna do first is you're gonna cut everything and then you are gonna give it a coat of paint and then we're gonna start with the legs. You're gonna make them upside down and you're gonna glue a nail gun this piece here to this here. And you're gonna do one side and now I didn't do this, but make sure you keep it flush on one side. Don't worry about the back, but on wh whatever side is going to be the front, keep this flush. So you're going to do the one side, then you're going to do the next side over there, and then you're going to measure eight inches from the bottom, and you're going to put this shelf in here, and you're just going to put glue on it and nail gun. I did about two in each two by six. So once you're done that, you're going to repeat it for the other one. Now, once you've got that together, you're going to put a little bit of caulking in here if you want. I just uh, thought it kind of made it look a little bit nicer so you don't see the cracks because my cutting isn't perfect. And then you're going to do another coat of paint when that dries. Once the paint is all dry, you're going to put your desktop on. Now, I put two coats of Erythane on this before I put it on. And you're going to leave a little bit of an overhang here. I used a loony, and then I just did like a finger width over there. Now you don't have to do this overhang, but the reason that I did it was because my cutting wasn't perfect again. So I think the overhang really just makes it look nice and tidy. Now once your desktop is on, you're gonna put the one by four frame on the back. You're gonna put some screws in there. And I think I glued it as well. Uh, make sure to pre-drill your holes and then screw it in there. It's pretty sturdy. And then to fasten these, I just put some glue under there and then use these metal brackets. You can make it a little stronger, like if you had a Craig jig, you could do that. Or you could just put like a thin piece of wood in here or just like a triangle or lots of different things. I also put this fuzzy thing on just so it's not banging against the wall. Um, so you're going to do that. And then the next, next step is you're going to put the pegboard on. I just glued and staple gunned it. I kind of touched up the staples with paint after. Once the pegboard's on, then you can put this piece on here and you're going to glue and nail gun it and it's going to go into this board here, the desktop piece. So it's going to be flush with this. You're going to nail it in there at the bottom. And lastly, Lastly, you're gonna do some nice caulking along here just to hide the crack on that edge. And there you have it. Okay, hop on over to the blog, make yourself a desk, let me know how it turns out, and don't forget to subscribe to my new channel.